it's time to take a look at the Mi Band 3. This is Xiaomi's latest offering in the fitness band segment. So let's get right into it. The packaging needs no introduction. Inside the outer package lies the main Mi Band 3 box. Quickly taking a look at the box contents, we have the strap, a user manual, and the charger. Let's take a moment to talk about this particular accessory. This is not your run-of-the-mill charger, but has a proprietary connector. So, ensure that you keep it safe. As far as the strap is concerned, it is made of good quality rubber or silicone depending on your preferred term. The buckle is made up of metal and the band has quite a number of holes to accommodate different wrist sizes. Taking a look at the fitness core, we will peel the sticker up top. The core is a 0.78 inch OLED touchscreen and here are the specifications in detail. My unit came with the battery drained, so let's talk charging. To charge the band, you need to slide the core into the cradle part of the charger, ensuring that the contacts, well, come into contact. Juicing it up to 100% takes almost two and a half hours. Upon a full charge, it lasted me for about 15 days with moderate to heavy usage. Once charged, just slide the core into the strap. To separate the core from the strap, push it out from the back. The fit of the core and the strap has been made tighter compared to the Mi Band 2 as there were a lot of complaints from users who lost their cores when they fell off the strap. Pair the band with your smartphone using the Mi Fit app. Let it search for updates and download the latest firmware. The interface of the band is a little different compared to the last generation Mi Band 2. In addition to the touch sensitive dimple, you can also swipe on the screen to access different elements of the UI. Oh, and did I mention that this thing is also water resistant? So you can safely wear this while taking a shower or going for a swim. There are three watch faces to choose from. Nothing much to write home about in my honest opinion. Other than the usual step counter and heart rate monitoring, the band also features a stopwatch and a weather forecast for three days. Nifty. Let's talk about my observations now. Step tracking was pretty accurate. Um, barring instances where you are cycling or riding a bike. That's a challenge with almost all fitness bands, barring the very high-end ones. Heart rate monitoring was also okay-ish. The area where I found the band to be falling short of expectations is the sunlight legibility. Get it straight guys, you cannot see the display out in the open. Period. The UI is also not too intuitive. It took me time to figure out where you need to swipe up or down and where you need to swipe sideways. Adding to the confusion is the requirement to press and hold the dimple to activate certain functions. Overall, this is a decent product if you are just getting into the fitness band game. However, if you already own a band, I don't see a point in upgrading. Do you agree with my observations? Do let me know down in the comments below. And yes. Do all the usual stuff like share, like and subscribe. This is Shovik signing off for the time being. Till the next time, be good and be curious. Bye-bye.